Welcome for our mathematics lesson. We're going to discuss area between two intersecting circles in NAPA 18, where we are told that uh, the figure below shows two circles of radi 8 centimeters and 6 centimeters with center P and Q, respectively, just as shown in the diagram. Then we are told uh, the circles intersect at point A and B. The lines PQ and AB are perpendicular to each other and meet at X. So AB and PQ are meeting at X. So the meeting point there, this point here is X. Then the common chord AB is 9 centimeters. Calculate. If AB is 9 centimeters, then we are told to calculate the angle AQB. Mm, we should know that x is at the center, therefore if AB is 9, then we have 4.5 at that point. So, for me to calculate the angles together with even the other one, now I can extract triangle APQ such that I got 8 centimeters here, I got uh, 4.5 centimeters then six centimeters. Now with this, we can calculate the angle at this point because I use the sine of an angle, whereby I will say the sine of the unknown angle is equivalent to the opposite length divided by the adjacent length. This is going to give us, when I take 4.5 and I divide by eight, I'm getting a 0 0.5 6 to 5. Now for me to get the angle at that point, I need the sine inverse of 0 0.5625. to 5. So when I take the sine inverse of 0 0.5625, I'm getting 34.23. To four significant figures. So for me to get the angle, okay, I've started with this one. A, P, B, I need to take 34.223 and I multiply by 2. So that I get, when I multiply this by 2, I'm getting 68.46 degrees. Therefore, I've calculated the angle at this point, then multiplied it by 2 for me to get APB. Then uh, angle AQB, which is at this point. Now I'm going to consider the angle at this side, whereby I will again use the sign of an angle, whereby I'll say that uh, the theta or the sign of beta is equivalent to 6, mm, is equivalent to, at this point, the opposite is 4.5 out of 6. So this is going to give us, when I take 4.5 and I divide by 6, this is giving me 0 0.75. So the angle itself will be given by sine inverse, sine inverse of 0 0.75. This is going to be 48.59. So that now for me to get N called A Q B, I love to multiply 48.59 by 2. So when I multiply this by 2, I'm getting 97.18 degrees. So that is the angle. And this is the other angle. So we have uh, those two angles as required. The next thing to calculate is area of the segment whose center is P. Area of the segment whose center is P. It's good to know that a segment is the portion which remains when we take a sector and we subtract the triangle inside. Therefore, with the sector A, 
pb a pb when we take the area of the sector then we subtract the triangle we remain with this segment so that is what we are required to calculate and what we do we simply go to the formula we obtain area of sector we subtract triangle then we are going to remain with segment therefore the sector is having the angle at the center which is equivalent to 68.46 therefore i will take theta 68.46 over 360 pi r squared to give me area of sector then area of triangle i subtract half one side times the other side multiplied by sine of the angle in between the two sides therefore i will have sector at this point and triangle at this point when i subtract i will get area of segment so now I can carry out that multiplication, whereby I will need the uh, 68, yeah, 68.46 multiplied by 22 multiplied by 8 squared. Then I divide by 360 multiplied by 7. This is going to give us 38.25.25 square centimeters minus half times 8 times 8 multiplied by the sine of 68.46. This is going to be 29.77. So I'm now going to take 38.25 and I subtract 29.77. This is going to be 8.48 square centimeters. That is the first segment. Now the next segment, I'm going to get again the sector minus the triangle inside so that I may get the other segment. So I will start with the angle theta over 360, so 97.18, 97.18 out of 360 pi r squared, then I subtract r one side times the other side of the triangle, sine of the angle in between sine of the angle in between. So let me carry out the multiplications now. I need to take 97.18 uh, multiplied by 22, multiplied by 36, and we divide by 360 by seven. This gives us 30.54 square centimeters. Then I subtract area of the triangle, which is going to be half multiplied by 36 the sine of 97.18 this is going to give us 17.86 so this is going to give us when we subtract i will take 30.54 and i subtract 17.86 so this is going to be 12 0.68 square centimeters. That is the area of the other segment now, where the center is Q. Then after this, now I'm required to find area of the region between intersecting circles. So when I take the two segments now, because we have a segment from center P, a segment from center Q, the, the two segments, are forming the area which is shaded in between the two circles. Therefore, I'm going to take 12.68, then I add the other 
which is 8.46. This is going to be, when I add 8.46, then I'm going to get 21.14. Yeah, centimeters. 